This is a section where I kind of like um, have a little bit of chat anyway. So, but this is Roger here on Affinity X. We're here to be fast next. We're here to celebrate gospel music of Black Origin, and we're here to, you know, um, you know, also here to talk about topical things, the things that you know we're passionate about. Something that we, 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 I'm here to give my opinion. My opinion is not the views of everyone in the station, um, but either way, I'm here to put my opinion because I feel like the Christian centric view is not put out there enough. And I think the subject of um, uh, of different subjects we have in our community anyway. So yes, we're not only here to salute and talk about gospel music, we're also to sleep. Um, I would say cultural issues and cultural, cultural question points to provoke you into thinking about you know oh, I don't know funny about that from that perspective but hopefully I'll break up the, break up today but anyway one of the subjects I want to touch away today, today before we go back into it and I'm going to try and just hit this out in five minutes maximum let's make sure everything's recording because I don't want to go through all this and go oh. but anyway so yeah man you know just make sure you look look back at this on, on youtube and if you go okay cool cool, cool. make sure you like go subscribe and do all them stuff different things you do on there anyway so yeah do all that stuff there please for us uh, as we try to um grow the network but anyway but um right so this week i've been brought to my attention i think my my, my, my presenter colleagues purposely just agitate me um to say something because of the, they're too scared to say it themselves on their shows <laughs> so today's subject there were i saw in there i have to mention but um, i believe it was a daily star uh, mentioned that um jamaica's is putting together um, um and they're very quiet about it on the public news over here but the daily star did mention that um the jamaica is now putting things together in motion to 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 ask for reparations um, for the slave trade you know and you know and ultimately this is the question that a lot of people are saying oh shouldn't we just forgive and move on now from a christian standpoint of view it would make sense why are you going back in the past and sorting things uh, sorting things out now i will ask the question of all of them in inverted commas christian elements of the of, of the slave owners getting paid off to 2015 when did they, they actually say oh you need to stop paying that money i will pay it back into the black community that we used and pillaged no they wouldn't do that no and not, there's been no sign of that because nobody stood up and said that because if somebody was actually did that i would guarantee you that we would hear today that they um charlie's Char charlie dude or charlie charlie sloth well, yes. <laughs> charlie dude has done it so one thing i, I can guarantee but none of the slave owners has, has has given back the money that has been given to themselves over the years plus inflation rate and all the different things up to 2015 and giving it back to the black community or found a fund that can back black black community i know there are people that kind of feeling bad about their their, their inheritance and there's a couple of stories of guys who are looking to to reinvest but it's nothing compared to the damage not only financially but also emotionally also um family wise culturally the you cannot he cannot decimate it um there's a guy who you know i have to say his name at tatum he feels it feels like sometimes you know it's a black guy like myself you know um he feels like you know we have to leave the conquer the conquerors alone they conquered the land listen listen dude yeah there's conquering actually taking the biscuit yeah till it's very day you know what i'm saying so slavery um and unfortunately reparations is also the damage of slavery and the inability um to pay yourself to come out of a situation and be call yourself the hero there's damages for that as well so whether does roger believe in reparations i believe if you are going to solve issues within our community reparations has to be part of the conversation i you know i can't see any way around about it and it's not about forgiveness is if i tease something from somebody and i'm a christian and when the holy ghost lit me i have to give them back what i've stole from them that's convicting me boy let me teeth off somebody like that boy my heart's like a let me just think back in my time boy i never go back anyway but from that part but you know what we, we we do need to to the best of our ability <laughs> let me try and try and try and not, not hold, hold myself down to that but anyway uh <laughs> that's like a good church person there but now on on a, on a serious note um we um it is part of the conversation it's something that's important part of the com com conversation and england has to look at what they've pillaged and the benefits it's developed itself to be a a, a world power based upon the blood and lives of people that would not only slave trade and the commonwealth in terms of um um cheap trade free trade you know what i'm saying and you know guys there's things that happen we i'm not here to go into it all right now but jamaica 
I I do I don't know if that's the right route to go about like, reparations, um, but I believe if somebody else starts to make sense, the conversation is being raised, and I believe this is the time that people are raising the conversation about this, and I think it's real important that we do talk about this because there's a real economic effect, which I'll get to when we talk about the Stockwell Six, and it's the element of the aftermath of slave trade, the the brutalization and the the, the, the way they've made black people to this very day. Uh, uh, be the, the lowest, the, the lowest uh, form of human beings in the world. You can say no, 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 no. Yes, you do. You know what I'm saying? I'm afraid to do. Society does individually. There's gonna be different opinions, and there's a change of opinion over the years. But you know, it's not the case anyway. Still, yeah. But listen, I'm gonna flip. I'm gonna come out of this conversation because I can go on about this all day long. But Jamaica, go for it. Hopefully, my mom's island and kids will get involved as well, and, and the other islands are to get to get involved and not be too scared because we're too biggy, biggy. You know what I'm saying? I've been to the West Indies. We're too biggy, biggy for English culture and English mainly language. Uh, you know all them things in the West. But it's right here. And I think the extra we're here to be fast next and I hate to celebrate gospel music of black, black, black origin. And here's a track called Southern Hospitality. A bit more of a hip hop vibe anyway. So hopefully you enjoy the vibe anyway. Hey. And I'm just looking at my watch and dog, I see the time sticking, killing my time linking, cause I know my mind's vicious, my addiction might get worse and I might itch it. When the flesh speaks, the mind listens, I might dish.